Hello. Uh, we are entering the second chapter of the uh, of the semester, and it's uh, it's about conditional probability, which is on on a continued uh, framework from chapter one about probability. So let me compare what's what's going on in chapter one and two. In chapter one, we learned just the basics how we uh, define probability and how we manipulate uh, events, outcomes, sample space and, uh, and how we connect those uh, manipulated events to uh, the probabilities. And in chapter 2, uh, so the chapter 1 is more about uh, the fundamentals, uh, more, more, more theoretical fundamentals to, uh, to set up the notation and uh, basic uh, terms. But in chapter two, it will be more practical. And uh, so probably the, the, what you learned in chapter one is was actually too easy. It was not that, that much uh, practical because you know everything. You know, you knew that without listen, watching the videos. So I understand. But now I will give you more uh, realistic example and uh, how we can apply uh, the, the concept of our, the probability and uh, what's, uh, what's the common mistake in applying the concept of probabilities. Okay, let me start, uh, let me start with the textbooks. They are all the same as chapter one. So in those textbooks, typically uh, all the probability concepts come together in, uh, in one chapter. So uh, you may read those chapters if interested. Uh, let's think about a leading example. This example is just an example. So I'm not talking about I, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about anything about politics or uh, reality. It's just an example. So suppose that we are interested in uh, the research question that are female police officers discriminated in uh, promotion decision or not. So it's a research question and we would like to prove or disprove this statement uh, from the data. And suppose that we somehow we could obtain a perfect data set so that all the police officers in the data set are identical. Identical on paper. So except for their promotion status and uh, whether they're, they are male or female. So the data can be summarized in this way. There are four types of police officers in the data and there are male and female and they are some are promoted or not. So we categorize the police officers in the data into four two by two uh, outcomes categories and we count how many police officers fall into each category uh, which is the frequency so for example it says that there are 288 288 police officers are male and they are promoted and only 36 officers are female and promoted and as I said, it's it's just uh, fake data, and I'm making a very unrealistic assumption that everyone in the data are identical. So identical except for these two variables. And, you know, so uh, don't be upset. It's not real. It's just purely statistical example. And I'm going to define notation this way. M for male and F for female, uh, stay forward. And I will write P for uh, the promoted police officers. Promotion uh, is written by P. And then those who are not promoted will be denoted as P complement, P superscript C. So remember, when you define an event P as uh, promotion, then P complement automatically is defined as P does not happen, which means they are not promoted. 
So we can rewrite the table in this way. Exactly the same table, but simplified by those notations. And then, from here, can you calculate the probability of F intersection P? So we learned this notation in the, in the previous chapter. So I want you to do the algebra. Do the algebra, like from this table, you know all the information uh, about the data, so you can calculate this. Just in case, if you do not remember what was the intersection, I'm telling you, it is, it is, uh, it connects these two events by and. So, female and promoted. What is the probability of being female and uh, promoted at the same time? Uh, pause the video and calculate to the work. Uh, here is the answer. To calculate that, to calculate that probability, the first thing you have to do is to calculate the sample size. So you need to know how many police officers there are in the data. So you need to know the total number of experiments. Remember, we, it, it is the sample size, the number of experiments, and in this example, an experiment is choosing a random police officer. So the number of officer, police officers in the data is the sample size. And to calculate the sample size, simply add all the frequencies. So there are four types of police officers, and we know how many police officers are in each category. So if you add up all those frequencies, then that's the total number of police officers in the data. And you get 1,200 police officers. So add four numbers, then you get uh, 1,200. So there are 1,200 police officers, and among them, only 36 police officers satisfy these two conditions at the same time, female and promoted at the same time. So only 36 police officers are female and promoted out of uh, 1,200. So the ratio is the probability, which is 3%. So only 3% uh, are female and promoted. Now then, now you should be able to do this. So the calculate now calculate the probability of male and promoted. The it it's pretty much the same. Try. I'll turn the page. The answer is twenty four. It's easier because you already calculated the sample sample size. So out of twelve hundred uh, police officers, two eighty eight. So two eighty eight police officers are male and promoted. So 288 out of 1200 is the probability of M intersection P, right? That's, so you have to connect a lot of things, notation uh, to the definition of probability and how you calculate that. So you have to uh, have all these three things in your head and your mind and should be able to handle them. Okay, so then back to the example, back to the research question, we just calculated two probabilities. One is probability of promoted female police officers, which is 3%, and probability of promoted male police officers, 24%. And can you, you can maybe, if you, you may want to compare them, you may want to compare these two numbers and uh, can you say, maybe you compare these two and the letter, the male probability is eight times greater than that of female, uh, the female probability. Then can you say this is a discrimination? Guess. So it looks like there are too many uh, males promoted uh, compared to females then is it a discrimination? If everything else are the same, everything else is the same, then my answer is no. It is not a fair comparison. 
even if uh, like so so let me explain even so it's neither it, it does not say what's going on there still there may be discrimination but at the same time there may not be a discrimination so let's think about why what you need to understand what we are comparing so when we compare 3% and 24% this comparison is based on these two our randomly chosen candidate is female and promoted this is 3% and if you randomly choose another candidate then uh, the probability of being male and promoted is 24% you are comparing these two just randomly choose a candidate and check whether female and promoted a uh, male and promoted the problem here is this comparison is not fair because the pool size is different for male and female right so overall let's go back to the frequency distribution table overall regardless of the promotion decision there are many more much more male police officers male candidates than female so if you randomly choose a candidate you will encounter more males than female so as a result this probability may reflect the promotion decision but also it reflects the proportion of male and female and uh, by construct like so as you can see as you could see from the table like there are just more male candidates regardless of promotion status so it is just natural even if there is no discrimination because there are more candidates so there are more promoted male candidates right that is natural it's it, it, it cannot be an evidence for uh, discrimination so then I will explain how we can adjust for this pool size uh, by uh, by uh, defining another concept of probability so we have to define conditional probability to make a fair comparison I'm going to do that in the next video so continue to the next video see you later bye